we just we well, didn't Well, hello it. everybody. Uh, this is a uh, uh, this is Trace Hickman. Welcome to Dragon Heart Holiday. Hello, Byron. And uh, as uh, as you can see here, there's three of us. Hi. Yeah, we are all I ready to play. Actually, this is this is the most we've had in the last five minutes, so I'm feeling pretty <laughs> good about this. I was sitting here and there's nobody actually at my table, and I thought that's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I yeah, this is, happens to gaming groups. Yeah, you know, it does. after a while, they just it just. Sometimes, yes. Yeah. yeah, sometimes it does. We didn't see you pull in. You didn't see me pull in. Yeah. No, you snuck you in. Know. Well, that's because I, I came in, in in my truck, in my uh, in my Xterra oh. with the with the hundred and seventy eight thousand miles. Oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a well loved truck. It is a well loved truck, and it has treated me very well. Um, but um, uh, it doesn't have a tow package on it. Mm. And as a matter of fact, one of, the, one of the things I find fascinating about this particular truck is that um, it, it has like a pressure sensor, right? I tell you, the tires are oh, right. I've lost pressure. And the pressure sensor is, is inside the stem of the, of the tire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fill stem of the tire. Um, it, it turns out that uh, and, and and because the car is so old right because this car is so old how old is this car i'll tell you how old this car is this car is so old that it, it doesn't tell me which tire is flat just one of your just tires. you have a flat tire so. mine does that too right how helpful is that not at all. You get to get out of your car in the middle of the snow and look all around your car on this kind of hunt for the flat tire. Mm -hmm. Mine is broken, so the light is always on. Mine is too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and this is because, as it was explained to me the last time I had my tires replaced on the car, mm -hmm. that I could either spend an inordinate amount of money to replace the stem because the stem actually only had a, a six-year expected lifespan. Wow. And it lasted eight. Yeah, that's uh, pretty, yeah. pretty good. Which is pretty good, really, if you think about it. Except that my car has outlived the useful life of the pressure stem. So they said either we can spend a whole lot of money and put in, you know, a pressure stem so the light can go out, or you can just put in a regular pressure stem, and the light's on all the time. Yeah. And there you go. Yep. So that's, that, that is indeed what we've done. You made the right choice. I think so. Yes. I think so, especially because this, this truck has no, um, uh, it has no tow package on it. What good is that? You know, I've reached that advanced stage of life where I'd like to tow stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yes. It's a, it's, it's a matter of, I don't know, some sort of manly American right that you'd be able to hitch up a trailer and tow something. Well, it's just really convenient, too. Yeah. It is very convenient, or it would be convenient if I had a tow package. So, you know, I guess I've been, I guess it's time to say goodbye to my old, old truck. Well, you could add a tow package on that. I could add a tow package on that, but that would be adding a tow package to a 178,000 mile truck, <laughs> which somehow also doesn't seem economic. Quite there, right? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, we are. We're, I'm, I am grateful that somebody showed up for the game tonight, because <laughs> I was certain it was going to be crickets in here this evening. Well, uh, I think we were equally worried that you weren't here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yes. Yeah, exactly. I, I understand that. So, yeah, so I, I, I'm here. Laura is not here with us this evening. Um, so I'm like doing multiple duty here. And um, 
Byron is here with us. Eric Falconer is with us. Also, Deja Vu, of course, is, is with us, as, as, she, as, as often is. And um, um, Laura is not here with us this evening because she had to go to a dinner, which means my dinner is up to me oh. at some point this evening. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Panda. Panda. Well, hey, hey, are I these your Panda for lunch? Are these so. sponsors? But don't name them. No, don't name them. They're not kicking in. That's right. Yeah. See. Okay. yeah. <laughs> taco, taco place. No free advertisement. <laughs> yeah. Some anonymous taco fast food place. Yes. Yeah. Some, some pizza house. Some also uh, some pizza house ish place. <laughs> or, 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 or even a fast Burger place. Um, <laughs> yeah. Always is sounding pretty awful at this point. I think that maybe it's it's time to go for a sandwich. <laughs> Just call it good, especially at this time. We brought toys this evening to share, as you can see. I see the uh, the the tower there. Yes, this yeah. is a, this is in fact the dice tower um, from Skyrim. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a lighthouse. It is, it's a lighthouse. And then I go and break it. And don't, okay. yeah, please don't break it, that would be bad. That, yeah, the top comes off. And actually, oh, this was pointed out to me because... Um, Let me test it. Um, an eight. An eight? No, okay, bad tower. Not promising. Bad tower, okay. Ten. We're oh, good. Right. It's getting better. Right. It just needed to warm up. Yeah. Okay, thank you. No, it's nicely done. Oh, no. okay. It's beautiful. You gotta have yeah. the right dice. So oh, okay. No, no, no. It's, it's um, it's a. It's a. It's a six. <laughs> okay. All right. No. All right. Does Clark have the right dice? The right, the right dice. That's a good question. Yeah. All right. Nope, nope. No. It's just <laughs> like in this tower. All right. It's yeah. just a, this it's is a curse. This is not good for us tonight. Actually, actually, I'd like you to, to look down the tower. This was pointed out to me by the oh. designer today. Kim? Down, down? Yeah. Or from, from top down, like close, down, like, like bird's eye view? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like, like uh, or, or in there. Yeah, yeah like what she down. did in order to yeah, get that's it. That's pretty cool. In order to get you know, dice cards have some requirements. She baffles in it, right, to get the die to roll, and, right? right? Mm -hmm. But she's done something different with this one. I'm really impressed with. Oh, okay. This one has like rifle yeah. down the tower, and it's specifically designed oh. to spin the die. Nice. As it goes down, randomly spin the die. As it goes yeah. Down. As it deflects off the side walls. Yeah. As it yeah. deflects off those side walls. That's so cool. you get a really nice randomness to the. Oh, that's right. The rolls on it. Yeah, Ooh. very cool. So yeah, it's it's beautifully done. And she yeah. uh, she wanted me to bring this this evening to uh, to show to everybody and and more toys to share. Let's see. Deja Vu has a question by the way. She says, "Are there going to be new subclasses for other D and D professionals?" I hope so. <laughs> I, I, we are working so hard to get these to get these built in, and it's especially interesting uh, for me that we've got like the ancestries and the cultures separated because then you can mix them and match yeah. them up. I'm very excited about that. Uh, and, uh, Laura was feeling a little bit stuck the other day, and uh, anyway, I hope that answers your question, Deja Vu. Uh, yes, definite maybe on that one. Definite maybe. Yeah. All right. As, as soon as I can get to those. And after I after I finish the <laughs> ethos system and the uh, ancestry and culture separation and uh, yeah, all these professions. But they're not actually professions. This is a problem is that is that Indian has got all these terms that they've kind of used up. And you know, so professions is a very specific meaning yeah. in five E. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I don't much care for the for the the idea of classes, per se. So we're, we're working on that. Hmm. Uh, and as a matter of fact, Laura and I um, did one of the things that we usually do, uh, we often do when we're feeling a little bit stuck, and that is we got in the car and went for a long drive. And we talked 
to each other and she took notes. And so, so the T, the depth of the tieflings, we all got and got through that, and we went also through the ogres, and, and now both of those are really very exciting to us, both in terms of ancestry and in terms of their culture. Yeah, so we're really excited to get those in as well. So anyway, it's um, that's that's part of our process actually is to, is, uh, to go on a on a long long drive. Um, Dragonite is a reminder to do the fortune cookies, or I'll get the call. I, 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 I <laughs> got, got them right here. Yep, right here. <laughs> or I made sure that I had those before I left. I, I could forget anything else, but I had to keep that. <laughs> I had to make sure I had that. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm slowly also acquiring dice for my uh, Star Trek ascendancy. So awesome. Yeah, that's also very helpful. But the other thing that I brought this evening. Uh, courtesy once again of Kim Borey, were the miniatures for all of the rest of the main characters. Nice. Oh, so nice. here, let's see if I can. Here's the, here's our uh, Genevieve, our captain. Gosh, that's everybody should get observing. Here is no, no. Uh, gently. I, I I recall when it got passed around the sword on the back of her. Um, I, uh, by the time it came to me, it was broken off. So. Oh, oh really? Well, that's not yeah, I just. Uh, here's, uh, here's our dragonborn. Come on. Right. You, can come throw, on you can just throw the dragonborn away. Uh, yeah, well, I think yeah, we're done with them. Uh, nice care for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ship stealers. Yeah. Here's our good <laughs> No. Uh, here's our fae. Ooh, that's me. You're a fae. Yeah. Oh, I knew there was something. Oh, did she already prime these? Um, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Hmm. And here's the bar on. They are just this amazing. I really like this. Movie. They appear primed, yeah. No, it's fantastic. <laughs> That's Here, check out the bar on. The librarian? Oh, you look good. Thank you. Oh, he's not holding a burning book, and though. Was oh, no. my, <laughs> I, I have my wish has already been beautifully painted by Paul. Oh, was, you, actually, the cause of consternation this afternoon, by the way, Paul. What's that? Uh, uh, your, your painting yeah, of the halfling. Uh huh. Yeah. We were so excited to show it to Kim, who had sculpted it uh -huh. this afternoon. And she was so excited to see it. And so she followed us home so that she <laughs> could see the oh. painting of this miniature. Uh huh. And we couldn't find it. What? We oh. could not find it. We you last for me, sir. And and we and I Laura tore her office apart, went through all her bags. She made me tear all my bags apart and look through my office for whatever reason. <laughs> she said, I just don't even remember I said, no, I did not I have nothing what, to do. I know I saw her what, putting it, it in. It's her in that bag. green box. It's in the little yeah. green box, yeah. yes. It looks almost like a Tiffany box. And I yeah. saw her yeah. putting it in the back. And you, and you did, it. and you did. But what we discovered after Kim left, with a great disappointment, we promised to come back tomorrow, okay, mm -hmm. and, and see it. Um, I said, she said, I know I put it in a safe place. I just know I put it in a safe place. <laughs> and I said, oh, we put it in a safe place? And she said, oh, the glove bar. <laughs> okay. She got in the car, she's holding this precious box uh -huh. in her hand. I've got to put this somewhere safe. <laughs> so she put it in the glove compartment. And it has been, it was safe, and it's right there. Now it's sitting on my desk so that we all can see where it is and know where it is. Plain view. It's yeah, it's in plain view. <laughs> but trust those half lines, we just hide. What is the cat? Uh, Baron, the Baron, the Baron. Oh. Baron, yeah. Remember, there was a Baron librarian when Bo burned down the library. Yeah. So, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. so when I was talking to the ghost, Baron, oh, he's not that tall. that's what yeah. he looked like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just I had no idea that that's what I was talking to. Okay, I, I understand. Tall. They are a little bit taller, but I'm but this one apparently is on the short side. 
it's a young bronc. Now, now can uh, you scale the minis when you print them? Yes. Well, and, well, and I, that actually segues into what I was about to ask because I feel like I saw a smaller version yeah. of the, the halfling that I painted. Yeah, yeah, that may well be true. I, I, thought, all, I thought you were passing one around last time. You were yeah, they were, they were, they, had, they all are, of course, are scalable, and since they're all 3D printable, you sure. can scale whatever you want. They're, and they're, they're beautifully detailed. So, you know, I'm thinking, oh, I don't know how I want to print it on, yeah, put on a desk. Oh, like that. Yeah. Mm, that would be cool. It should be really good. So, yeah, we, you can see that Kim's really got some great things that can come yeah. out. The power turned out just beautifully, and the yeah. characters. Magnificent. So we're very excited. We are also <coughs> about to do an update and, and tell everybody in, this, in the update. Um, we are, we are, uh, we are actually, I believe, going to be close enough to open up the package kit um, within the next week. Oh, cool. So uh, people who want to get in and and out there, uh, buy more stuff. Please come to the web. And if you haven't, you somehow missed it when it was also um, um, happening. I think you can come in as well. Oh, print, like make a new pledge. Yeah, right? yeah, after pledge. Kind of thing. Uh, but we'll let everybody know about that. We've also got some interesting things happening later on this week. Um, uh, keep an eye out. Uh, on uh, Polygon, because I believe we've got something really special coming out on Polygon. Uh, Very cool. This week. So yeah, just a heads up on uh, heads up on that one as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Daisy Blue says, "I'd love to see a rogue that focuses on setting setting traps rather than disarming." <laughs> Me that'd too. Be, that'd be very fun. Allow them to get sneak attack on traps. It's just a, that, that's a good idea. And and the halflings here in uh, the halflings here in the Rangers Coast are let's say mischievous. Mm. <laughs> Hadn't noticed that. Hadn't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just the same. Okay. But they're a little mischievous. Um, and they can love for Dragon War. Thank you, Dragon War. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see, is there anything else? Anybody else have any questions for this evening? Did everybody who's uh, going to Gen Con uh, get their special email, their secret club email? Um, maybe. No, maybe. It was there supposed to be one? There is. There's a special secret club email uh, that uh, you should have. When should it have come out? This afternoon. Or no, about uh, noon today, actually. Oh, okay. Mm, no? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Am, I, am I not club. part of the secret club? I, I, I can leave. I put you in the secret club email, so if you didn't get it, I don't know whose fault that is. Huh. I, I don't get to go. I have a job. Oh, that's true. I <laughs> Why do you do that? that? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> I do too, but bizarrely, Gen Gun is my job. Yes. Yeah. Lame. <laughs> um, so sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you yeah, I'm not seeing anything Gen Con related. Oh, we'll, we'll look looking unfocused. I'm looking where? Unfocused. Unfocused? You have a focus group and a. Uh, what? Well, is that anything like my spam folder? Um, it could be in it's the kind of folder. between spam. It could be in the junk mail folder because it's you know like Or maybe you blocked it. So. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. blocked everything from me. You're like, oh Tracy sends me so many emails. Uh, <laughs> well it came from MailChimp, so you know. Yeah, that's why it really good. It might have uh, it, it, very sometimes mail sync is blocked by spam yeah. blockers because Gosh, I'm not seeing anything. Right. Well that's too bad because it has detailed instructions. Uh, about what you will be doing today. Mm. Okay, well, well. I kind of need to know that stuff. Well, I sent one to you too. So. To me? Yeah. Okay, well. I, I imagine Kevin got one as well. <laughs> My son, he's, yeah, he he's probably got one too. Yeah. yeah. Well, you might ask to, him to, to read the email to you, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that one. Anyway, so yes. yeah. And we're missing Lauren tonight. Laurel tonight. Yeah. Yep. 
Laura and a Laurel. Both of them. Laurel and Laurel. Yes. 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 They, they are sure. MIA. They're hanging out together. They didn't want to hang out with us. Well, who can blame them? <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Ooh, that should be interesting. Man. I wonder where they found Oh, no. So, the ghost story continues? I do believe so. We well, should probably play the game. I found it. Did you? Yep, I'm oh, in yeah. the secret club. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm <laughs> jealous. Well, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Well, <laughs> oh, that reminds me, before we settle into the game, um, I wanted to, uh, I, I want to set up a time for us all to fly starships. I looked at that. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. It is, it is yeah. really cool. Do you want to do it like after this game? I can't do it tonight. Okay, well, well we can do it tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning? Tomorrow afternoon? The key works? Tomorrow evening? Just there you go. Works. There you go. Friday morning. Friday afternoon? Yeah, yeah. any of it. Friday afternoon. You can't do it Friday evening. No, we're going to be going. We can't do it Thursday evening. Yeah, we're going to be there. It's just a joke. He's just, he's just, he's just, he's just, he's just, he's just, so you can't do it this weekend. So I think this weekend is the complete. Weekend. Yeah, I think so. This weekend, yeah, absolutely. Do yeah. it this weekend. Let's do it this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday, sure, do Saturday it. during the day. Yeah, that's when I think we should do it. Yeah. We aren't available this weekend. Is the, the rest of us are going to have a great time. <laughs> so who cares, right? Yeah. Let's get, get out of here. <laughs> well, we can do it some evening. That would be just like peachy. And if you guys can decide when you want to do that. Yes, uh, I have figured out my technical end. Uh, there's a reason why I'm not in the IT department. <laughs> sure. Um, but um, I had to. I had to. I had to do like, like. Uh, I, I had to do stuff that most people have to go through an annex course. You know, and, and, and like. Basic Internet 101, you have to actually be able to pass that yeah. in order to do what I have to do. Which this. means you, you have to know that when you to unlock your computer, it's a, it's a pin, not a password. It's a pin, <laughs> I guess. I, mean, I need to do for that. I was a bit of a crib, actually. Okay. So, so you host the software. I do. I host the software, so I have to do port forwarding and through, uh, through my router. And I managed to figure all of that out nice. all by myself with a number of articles and the help of the actual guy who wrote the game. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Awesome. But I did. I got it to work, and it's, it's amazing that it actually functions uh, um, through a web browser. Yeah, it's a cool. web app. And so <laughs> I, I do recommend, however, if it's possible, okay. For uh, those of you who are, are going to be helping me uh, take this ship out of dock, uh, out of dock try that. Um, it is helpful, I think, if you open a window. Oh, first, it, it gives you an option as to which panels to open. And I suggest you open two, actually. The, the, view, the view screen, so you can actually see where we're going. Mm -hmm. Probably helpful. Probably helpful. And your position. There's there's six positions um, on the bridge. And, uh, oh, we're not in ten four. No, oh. we're not in ten four at all. I don't know if I can play this game. <laughs> <laughs> You'll only ever find me on holiday. So. I, I see. Because the holiday works so well, <laughs> it does. Yeah. It never causes. It never, never has problems. any problems. So, it never has any problems. Early on into the next generation, my dad and I came up with some fundamental rules. Like if, if we found ourselves in command of a starship, uh, one, the holodeck is off limits. It's just shut down. Just, just, just nip that in the bud. Two, Wesley's not allowed to invent anything. Yes. Just, just take, just take, take that. Yeah, yeah, take all that away. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't remember what, what some of the other ones was. Uh, you know, oh, uh, whatever Worf says to do something, do it. Yes. Yes. Break shields, fire on it. Just do it. Just do it. He, Just do it. I, I think uh, no question is. his track record of being correct was pretty stellar. Yes. <laughs> and don't go in. Don't don't go into a committee. Just yep. do what works. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Every time he says race, sh race shields, should we shoot it? 
Riker is always like, no, 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 let's not do that. Then we don't do that. Around. Yeah, I know. And then uh, 30 then, minutes later. Yep. Pack lets. That's all I'm going to say. Worf was 100% right about the pack lets. <laughs> Nobody listened to him. Nobody listened to him. <laughs> Nobody listened to him. It's true. So. Uh, oh, yeah. This is, these are all, these yeah. are all excellent rules. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's kind of the, kind of the uh, Kirk school is to shoot first and make excuses later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I actually, by the way, or just because I didn't want to brag, uh, actually got to visit the Enterprise B Bridge. The set? Yeah, the set. you told us. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I told you that. Yeah. No, no, I mean, you can tell us again, though. It's oh, fine. I can say yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll yeah, be jealous yeah. twice, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, uh, I was able to, uh, I was able to arrange so that my, uh, my, uh, I went, Laura went, and our, our, I believe it was our two oldest went, and um, we, uh, it's kind of funny because we were told where to go and we just walked into the sound stage because the guard who is at the door, normally at the door of the sound stage, to like, you know, not let people just wander into the set. Sure. Um, had 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 to go to the bathroom. Oh, so everybody just snuck in? Just yeah, we, didn't, we didn't know. They said, we'll go to the stage, you know. And so you we were standing there waiting. Arnie's gone. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so we like walked in. And and, you know, I said, yeah, I wonder if we're supposed to be here. And <laughs> we walked back out, and the uh, guard was there and explained, no, we had to have something with us, and okay. I believe you got to sit in the chair, did you not? I did. It was a very comfortable chair, actually. Yeah. And, uh, and, and my son broke so the Now this, this, I think, is new information. Yeah, my son broke the bridge. He, he uh, we were walking on the upper... You know the app upper section of right. the rise, right? Where is, yeah. And uh, and he he kicked one of the kit plates underneath oh, no. the console, and it popped off. <laughs> okay, so you know I can't tell you that it is plywood, <laughs> and it's just kind of barely holding on. <laughs> I might have snuck underneath the captain's chair and just wrote bows here. <laughs> just, just, uh, I might have yeah. just knew that. Yeah. And the weird thing, and sadly, the thing is that I had brought a camera with me when we first walked in and nobody was there, right? I had brought a camera with me. And if I had just thought to take a picture of that, uh. I'd have been fine. But no. After that, no, you can't take a picture of it. Pictures. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the like shock of, you know, oh, it's the, you know, bridge of the Enterprise. Well, I mean, well that's true. You know, and we, and we actually went into the, the conference room, right? And, and and saw all those stars, right? The star yes. panel? Yeah. yeah the, sh the screen that they just rotate around? Yeah, yeah. Right. It's, it's, it's actually on the dry cleaner track. <laughs> Somebody pulls it all That's along. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, I just love the, the technology that's <laughs> actually involved in Starship flying. Yeah. We, and, and, uh, you well, know, Lamar Burton was filming that was in, the in, in, a, in the engineering section. And so we went and we were saying, oh, no, that's so important. See, and then one of the ADs came over to us and said, we need you to back up about a foot because you're in the shot. And, <laughs> and there's like this family in engineering that you can around. Just the give it, just, yeah. you know, just, just, just to get, uh, you know, like yeah. with, the, with awe. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, it sort of breaks the, you know, the, the that's, inc that's that incredible. But that, but that was, that was hilarious. To, 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 you know, so we got to do that. I later actually was, uh, um, visited um, um, Voyager set. Mm -hmm. So I've been out of town now. I think I've been on a number of bridges. I've been on the Enterprise D Bridge. I've been on the, um, I've been on the bridge uh, um, uh, of Voyager. And I've been on the Defiant Bridge. Oh. So I've, you know, pretty good tour of Federation tour. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And, and I did, and I, I went into the engineering section of Voyager and much to my shock and dismay, the uh, warp core was open. I mean, just 
like unhinged. That know. is incredibly hazardous. All that antimatter. Oh, and, yeah. and it had a ladder like leaned up, <laughs> right? And so I got to see inside the warp core. You know, you'd think you were like melt your face or something. <laughs> it, it, something resplendent. Was That's how they line the crystal. Yeah. They get up on that ladder. They get up on that ladder. And, yeah. it, and then it, Kurt kicks it. That's how it That's it. it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Kicks it. Yeah. No, it. that's not it. <laughs> but I, I, I discovered this. It's a sheet of plywood. And it's got, it has a diamond cut in it. Right? And then it's got a wheel, a big, a, a wheel, wide wheel, at an angle that's covered in aluminum foil. All crinkled the aluminum foil. Oh. And lights oh. shine on it. So when they rotate, it creates that effect. It creates the effect on the panels. That's and awesome. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, illusions of my childhood. Just, you know. <laughs> they weren't really in space. What? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I thought I thought all we needed was tin foil and, and plywood to go to space. I thought that's what he was saying. That is that's what I'm saying. saying. Yeah. yeah. That really is all that you oh, need. Oh, awesome. you don't need that. No. No, you just need tin just foil. Just a, a, a ladder. No. Just a ladder and some aluminum foil to be there. Well, I, you also need a wish in your heart as well. That's, yes. That, 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 you know. That's right. And possibly some pixie dust. <laughs> a pinch. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> Well, we yes, we have delayed life here <laughs> for death. Anyway. Something, something, yeah. Uh, As <laughs> you're talking, I said, "Why install the doors purpose by locking it?" <laughs> there you go. This actually sounds like very profound. Yeah, it does. Very yeah, profound. very profound. Absolutely. Okay, well, so we should probably play a game. I think so. With what, with what time we have left. And Laura's going to kill you if you don't open our fortune cookies. <laughs> That's all I am. Thank you very much. <laughs> Laura, we kill me. Not that, you know, I don't want to get started. All right, all right. Which one? Left. Players working. Yeah. All right, all right. Now I can land the video. <laughs> if it's bad. At least it actually has a fortune in it. Laura opened one today and it had no fortune. There we go. It says... Your good nature will bring you happiness. Yes! Well, all right. Awesome. All right. Good choice. Lily. That's actually pretty good advice. All yeah. right. The DM's fortune. Uh-oh. I've said... I've said previously that my character's not a good person. <laughs> <laughs> I might be in trouble. I have a bad You're just a little selfish, so am I. Let's see. No. It's an easy fortune cookie. You just slip a fortune out of it and you even break the cookie. Here we are. A cheerful heart makes its own song. Mm. Wow. There you go. Okay. Now, uh, according to, if memory serves, uh, traditional uh, Chinese mythology, uh, if you don't break the cookie you, to extract the fortune, uh, the fortune doesn't uh, doesn't come true. So well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, as I, far I, as your comment, you're just uh, sliding uh, it out. Uh, yeah, you, you have to actually break the cookie. Okay. Uh, I've heard that fortune cookies are really Chinese. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> This is, this, this is the night of disillusionment. It's just, I'm sorry. <laughs> just tearing <laughs> down lo loves and hopes. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note. On that uh, note. Yes. I'm throwing water on loves and hopes. And <laughs> I think we should play our game. Let's, let's get after it. All right. <laughs> Well, I saw this. Yeah, I saw the flag on your left shoulder, and I assumed that it was uh, in support. But uh, yes, yeah, fantastic. 
Love of Christ. Glory to Christ. So we go up there. Last time, as you remember, I found the dead dragon boy aboard this ancient rotting ship in the sky. Having searched this and having apparently gone through a number of trunks of people on board the ship, having found the heart to be a tangled mess, if I recall. Yes. And having searched aft, I believe you discovered someone. Tucker. Tucker. <laughs> you have found Tucker at the back of the ship. He was a little crazy. I, I believe I was interrogating him as to where is Twine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a little roughly by the show. Twine. Where is Twine? I don't know where is Twine. <laughs> you find Twine. Get me off this boat. And I remember there's just lots of dips. Did Twine come with you on this journey or did he stay at home? We. What, we were you? hauled up by the dragon form onto the ship. Yeah, if you were called, I, I, I called after Twine as the as our ship was trailed overhead. With you as well. Were you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, Where's our book? With that Where's book. Our book? Where's your book? The cat that the dragon born took the book. Oh. On the ship or into the keep? The ship. They flew the ship. They wanted to get here before you did. Who, who was the most senior Dragonborn when we left the ship? Krog. Yeah, yeah that, that, that would be the one most Kogra. likely Kogra. to take possession of the book. Yeah, Kogra took the book. Yeah. Uh, we found his body, right? Did we find yes, his body? Yes, it was yeah. lashed to the wheel. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. Did we not search his person? We didn't search anything. Oh, well, anything. We, we, we best search his person. All right. Uh, yeah. For the book. By the way, I do want to remind you that last week the one of the ghosts was saying help. Yeah. Or two weeks uh, yes. This is a, uh, a most excellent segue. Uh, I think we can all agree that uh, there there's a crisis on this ship. Yes. Uh, is it? Do we agree that there's two factions of 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 ghosts on yes. the ship? There was the the, the, the captain. The um, the mutineers. And the mutineers. And, uh, it, 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 something has caused, well, normally, it, if my understanding is correct, the mutineers are most in control at, at, at most often, but something has happened, and if, if memory serves, well, didn't one of the uh, ghosts suggest that there's a, a limited window of opportunity? That, something that was, uh, Tucker told us that that the dragonborn had killed or done away with um, or most of the ghosts and had almost been victorious and immediately to uh, immediately continue on that course of action. That gotcha. was Tucker's advice. Gotcha. But so was I correct or incorrect that no. there that the, the mutineers seem to have been um, diminished. Well you guys took thing. out some of the mutineers, right? You uh, magic missile the one one. Sure. I believe. That was all. Sojourners. These are sojourners. We can't get off the ship. These are what? Sojourners. Sojourners? Sojourners. What's that? To, to, the, un to the uninitiated, please. In, in your own words, explain what that is. The spirits of the dead. Okay. And they linger here and they do not pass on from the world. Well, yes. They're, they're stuck here. Held here by their own deeds, looking for release. Well, yes, we have some experience with that. Huh? Uh, so, experience. Uh, they have terrible strength. They are terrible, terrible foes. But when they fight, they lose their strength for a time. For a time. Interesting. Yes, and that's that's what I was most worried about for a time. Right. So they they, they will regather themselves. 
ghosts. There they are ghosts. They spent themselves on the dragon board. Spent it all. Oh, I see. That's why we're not dead. Uh, so we we, we have to taste. Keep, we need to search this ship and figure out how to help. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, it's pretty obvious the ship is not flying because it's got a engine and sylph and all that in it. Because right. that's all right. So I think we're just going to ghost ship. Not a ship with ghosts, but a ghost ship. So you think if we help them, the ship will vanish and we'll plummet to our deaths? This oh. ship just strikes me as being so substantial as opposed to those spectrals. Well, if it was really substantial, it wouldn't be flying. I can't say that I know how this is being done. Suffice to say, this is a very solid vessel that we, we, we reside upon, uh, and very insubstantial uh, individuals that, that we coexist with at the moment. You can hear, you hear the sound of creaking wood and movement in the compartment forward where you are. I jump behind the dragon mark. <laughs> well, I'll go forward. Yes, I'm fighting the so I will let him so go forward. Drawn. Check it out. I will. I will. I will, I will stay in the. There. I will bravely stay in the back it's while they go forward. <laughs> Perhaps it's twine. Perhaps it is. Yes. Let's go find out. Yes, we, we must make make haste. The ropes, cables, and lines of the harp are moving, seeming they're almost oh. on their own. Rearranging themselves. Oh, shit. Okay. So For like getting more well, organized or less Yeah, I was gonna say are they correcting? Or they are seem they just to be made more and more organized. They're connecting, reconnecting, as though sinew was being re -knit. Is that Barong um shipwright visible in this room that we saw before with could we could we be witnessing it? Or it came to a halt, running backwards. Uh, well, it, 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 it appears to be healing. So I'm, that, 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 that is yeah, what strikes is he, me. Is he fixing stuff? He and a number of spirits, and the other spirits that are here, the other soldiers who are here, are fading in and out. You can see their hands working the lines and moving around the soul engine. But watch him take notes. All you see is the ropes moving. Wow. Oh. Well, but I can see where they are and then where they're going too. Yes. We need we need to continue to search the ship. Uh, well, let's not also not overlook one detail. There's a, a mysterious woman that was aboard this ship. Yes. Uh, I wonder if there isn't perhaps a, a love connection that has been uh, uh, frustrated between the captain and the woman, and if that might play some role, possibly in, oh, in, in alleviating the suffering of, of these spirits. Well, we could that go, is possible. It's just a possibility. We, we could go clean up the rigging and sails. And we know how to do that. Yes, but I was thinking of searching the cabins. Okay, finding we. I mean, our aid was requested. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if not to mention, if we get rid of these ghosts, we have another airship. Maybe. Yeah, we, we must find what Maybe. crisis has frustrated these. Uh, yeah, I agree. To, to, I just to, don't to know linger. how to do that. Uh, well, all, all we, I, I think all we can do is just uh, search the ship. But let's search the Dragonborn leader. Let's see if we can. For the book. Acquire the book. Let's just do that all right. post haste. And then let, let's, I let's suggest address. we stay together. Okay, we will proceed to the deck. And hey, you find the, you find the ladder up on deck? And you leave this, you leave this little engine below. You climb back on and on, up on deck. And you're on the main well, main well deck. And there's another pair of short ladders on either side of the deck that go up for you. Yeah, we'll go. Okay. Should have brought the boat so we could point out what he's talking. The uh, <laughs> dead dragonborn is at the helm. So Shifting we'll, with it slightly as the wheelchair. We'll search him very creepily, yeah. Sure. Hmm. 
Yes, he does have a good time. Haha, huzzah! Success! Anything Excellent. else? We give the book to the halfling. You're the engine guy. Yes. Um, okay. He has a uh, writ from Kanakram. Ah. Yeah. Are these orders, uh, does it say, uh, betray these, uh, steal their, their ship, murder them? Not in those words. Not exactly. in those words? No. no. It's I'm really bit couched somewhat more delicately yeah. than that, but the effect is pretty much the yeah. same. Yes. There's a lot of flowery language about the, the, the higher goals of the uh, uh, Akron Empire and the, 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 the needs of the Empire and the, and yes. Sure. Well, let's just uh, hold on to this as proof of their duplicity and their dishonesty. Well, they don't necessarily see it as duplicitous. Well, I mean, the word duplicitous is not actually. Well, I, I'm but, sure I don't care what they, how they see this. Uh, 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 I'm sure I only care how I see this. Uh, well, yes, yeah, so let's keep it to prove I was 100% correct. Anyway, moving on. Uh, that was very, very <laughs> I see. You can't lose no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. We should wait and then fly back over to and then drop the bodies over. Uh, so you take, you take, you take, you do in fact have the body away. Like yeah. <laughs> and, and, and in a siege, would you also launch the heads of your of the captives at, the, did, but at the city to you, yes. incite them to surrender? <laughs> Can I get them off of you? I think she is. Yes. Okay. You can pry him loose from the wheel. I think she has a good idea. Huh. <laughs> so he was hanging onto the wheel while he was killed. Is that what I conclude? Yes, and his cold, dead hand, clawed hand, reaches up for your throat and grabs it. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. All right. That, are you, I'm sorry, are you being attacked right now? Yes. We, we were over here in a conversation, and we yes. look over, and you're, this guy's okay. got a death grip on you now? Wait, who is it? Is it the captain or the, somebody else? It's the, the, the dragon Dragon captain that was last to the wheel. Yeah. He, he was trying to cut him loose to, like, Release his uh, body? Oh. <laughs> I was going to talk. Okay. The dead, uh, yes. the, the dead eyes are staring at you. The head is rolled back slightly. The mouth gapes open. Is, is gaping open. He is obviously dead, but he is, he is possessed, possessed of something. And got by, by your throat. And you hear from his open mouth the sound of his voice. It is coming to you, and, and it says, "Save us." <laughs> that you, crowd, crowd draw, buddy? Doesn't sound like you. Doesn't sound like you. No. Mm. This is the cap. How do we save you? We want to save you. We're interested in saving you. You say with a, a gripped throat. <laughs> <laughs> we want to <laughs> save you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Yes, yes. Inform us. Hey, uh, Enlighten us. Take us home. Where, where's home? Haven? Well, oh, it's not Haven. Mm -mm. Or across the ocean. Oh, okay. Well, okay, that's not happening. Uh, oh, no. Well, uh, because this ship is inoperable. <laughs> They're fixing it right now. Wow. Yes. <laughs> well, I would think that they would have fixed it before. Before our arrival. What? Should we wait? What catalytic we event has taken place? Lost. We yeah. are lost. Well, as I said, uh, there are no charts below, right? We already looked no, at the charts. Did we find oh, there were charts where you couldn't read them. That was uh, the okay. other ship. No, we have charts, right? In a there are charts that are here. Yes. I would imagine they would be the same, the, though. Uh, as I said, their deaths are... Uh, uh, You're the now the images on the wrong side of wet windows. Impossible to properly see these ghosts. You're the navigator, right? I am the navigator, yes. Why don't you look at those charts and see if you can make uh, a... I'll attempt to make as best a, a, interpretation as I can. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I'll uh, run down to the 
captain's, they were in the captain's quarters? On, on, table, yeah. on the captain's table? Well, yeah. you shouldn't go alone. Uh, well, okay. You. Uh, very come well. On. I shall come to you. Yes. Okay. I'll stick with you. Let's get this uh, body with this thing. <laughs> no, we, I liked her idea. Oh my gosh, you guys are so morbid. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, he has released you and falls to the deck. Oh, good. All right. Put him uh, over there by the crate. Yes. Are you going to do it? Dying in a pigeon. Ah. You drag him to the side of the boat. He ignores, I don't think that's a good idea. Of, he ignores our sensible uh, advice. Of the quarter deck. You look over the side, you can't see the ground. You can't see anything. It is they did raise the anchor. Gray fog all around the earth. Well, I'll try and hear it land. <laughs> you want to see how high in the air we are? <laughs> you throw him over. Oh, I'll say I'll say a few words like bye. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a few noble words of dragon or liturgy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Uh, in a and nutshell. You roll him over the gunnel and he bumps once against the hull and all the way. Those dragon boards are so practical, pragmatic. <laughs> uh, fantastic. You wow. Don't hear we're high, or we're not in the real world. Um, perhaps we're in some ether realm. Who knows? And that, that poor chap that you just disposed of is tumbling forever. Okay, well, just for well, curiosity, mm -hmm. well. if I spin the wheel a little bit, does the helm answer? Yes, helm does answer. You can feel the you can feel the death pipes move underneath you as the as the alphabet shifts. All right, is there a compass? Oh. Well, you've gone down to the captain. I have. They both yeah. went. Yes. He's got a. So. Well, the harp is not. We should see if the harp's ready. What kind of <laughs> state is Ready it? or not, <laughs> we're flying. <laughs> well, but I don't know how it's going to behave because we have to control it somehow. I think. I don't know. Well. I could set the rigging. Do we know what direction to go? Has anybody even considered the impossibility of this task that we are undertaking? Hey, we're not Let's with take them. Take them where? We're not, home. we're not with them. A home that is a myth? Uh, on ghost ship? Are you shouting this yeah, across sure. the deck? I suppose. Okay. Oh, sure. Okay. I come back. Captain's head. Hey! I, 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 any of you right. consider? I, I come back with the map. How about that? Okay. It, you know, oh. I hope there, there's oh. not enough food. Was there a compass, by the way, in the captain's? Quarters. As a matter of fact, yes, there was. All right, I'm going to take that okay. with the map. You have the, you have the compass. You have the map. Yeah, our whole map compass. Seems yes, to yeah. A uh, number of islands in a string around a, a central sea. Uh, but these, but these land masses look nothing like Abrax. Correct, if memory serves. Mm, you all you know about Abrax itself is the coast. That, yeah, is, is this. Yeah. This, this is all I know. And it looks nothing like this. Well, let's see if it's a perception check here and see how well you do. No. We, we should avoid that area of dragon. Perhaps. You gotta use the dice tower. Uh, I do have to use the dice tower. Oh. Um, okay. Perception? Is where perception? So so far. Yeah. Perception Except is in the middle of the game, so... Now it's for reals. Now it's for real. So, uh, Ooh, that'll yeah. be an 18. <laughs> Dang, it was saving up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit. So, an 18. As you, ex as you examine this map, you, in fact, do find... Just a moment. Oh, I think I see some uh, familiar landmass uh, on this chart. Let me let me contemplate a bit more. Yes, yeah, uh, it's it, it's coming to me. It's, it's, it's coming. I believe he's just making. Uh, it. <laughs> it's, it's it's just about there. Yes, it, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It, it's all coming together it's nicely all coming now. Together nicely now. Uh, yes, it's looking very very familiar. Yes, it, 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 <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. I, I think the blue is water. 
the, the, the <laughs> is definitely <laughs> water, yes. Yeah, yeah. That is, yeah, that yeah, is yeah, definitely yeah, an, an ocean expanse, for okay. sure. Uh, this is to be sure. Uh, this will do. What have we here? What is this device of witchery? I wonder if oh. the... Oh! Wow. Deja Vu said, I wonder if the map maker is still around. Uh, I have a map! I have a map! Yeah. I uh, wish. Uh, That'd be nice if he were on board. Yes. Well, this would be us way over here. Well, this is... This is how large is the world? <laughs> Big. I this, do not know. Uh, okay, I do believe if we... I do believe how this... How are you doing that? That's my job. Yeah, <laughs> zooming in on the map? <laughs> Hi. Yes, this is a very interactive uh, map. I want to ask the captain. Yes, here. Oh, the... the what, this land where, mass where that we are. This, this is map is absurd. This is this is. Which captain? What captain? The ghost captain. No, th this map is absurd. This 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 cannot be accurate. It's too big. This this is too much. I do not look, like the sound of look, the sirens. Look the, 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 here. This peninsula. Yes. Patar. This would be this point right here, uh, and this right here. My homeland? Yeah. Edone? Yes, this would be this southernmost peninsula right there. And yes. here is the, the here's the floating coast. Where's right. the where's but, the But then look at all of this. Is those are those navigation no, lines? This can't be accurate. This can't be real. Maybe it's just not the scale. Um, well, even if it were not to scale, I mean the the the, the Arrhenius coast that we are familiar with is but a fraction of what Abrax is yeah and we already know that we came from even a small team. component to this can i make out this uh, the name of this yeah the, what what are these so uh silurian isles hmm. the, this mass of, never heard of it is there a capital city marked on there uh well not on abrax uh, but on this uh, uh, uh nay i see no uh, no cities of any kind denoted just just land masses. Bizarre. But this this would imply that the world is immense. A huge flat expanse. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. A, 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 a mighty flat uh, expanse. Yes. There's a scale down here. I, uh, is, is there... Um, well, did you not know that the world is on the back of a giant turtle? Well, everyone has heard this, of course. Of course. Yes. That's a sure turtle be, 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 Behold the turtle of enormous girth. <laughs> Upon his back he holds the earth. <laughs> yes. Ask the ghost. His thought is slow but often kind. Yes, and we, we all know the rhyme. To this place. Ask them about that one. Uh, Kaladax? Mm -hmm. Ask them if that's his home. Should we make a Well, the, 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 well there, there are many to, to refer to. There are many to refer to. Well, but Kaladax is uh, like a like, uh, uh, address uh, the, But that's the biggest uh, closest. Closest. Windward side. Sure, of course, yes, I see that. <laughs> the Silurian Strait. Huh, this, and it this, this not is not incomprehensible. Okay. Which direction is Kaladax? Suffice to say, Kaladax, Kaladax would be to the uh, south southwest. Okay, let's shape course for south southwest. Well, this is cool. Th this would imply. If that's the right place, though. Are these? Uh, oh my! I don't know. Because there are a bunch more. All right. This would imply that it, it is over five hundred miles. Yes. Actually, this let me. We need you to go south southeast until we clear all these mountains. Well, we let me them. before we set course for their home. We are not dead. We need food and water. Sure. Well, there's nine dragonborn left. But I don't think we're getting off the ship right now. <laughs> what? What? There's nine dragonborn left. All the drain, all the blood drains from phase. Dragonborn <laughs> sucks. Each other? Me? Look, I, I what know, else is a body good for? Uh, I, I know the dragonborn <laughs> are known for their pragmatism, but uh, <laughs> seriously. Okay, we'll go find food. We can go. It's not as if we can hop off and go shopping. No. Well, this, yes. It's not as if we can do that. You are correct. But maybe we throw a line overboard. See what we catch. Uh, uh, go fishing. Yes, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, or is that birdie? Uh, it, 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 tragically, we cannot dine upon jokes. 
as, as, the, as there is a feast of them in, um, in front of us now. Uh, regardless. Does anyone know how to? I mean, I we know how to sail a ship. Let's sail the ship. Let's sail the ship. Where, where would we like to go? Uh, there, there are no, there are no ports of call indicated on on, on these charts. Just large land masses. We should go to my look. Th there's a land mass off here that is even cut off, suggesting that there's even more. The turtle Th is quite large. This is completely un unbelievable. Which is the closest one that's not ours? Uh, the closest. Landmass that is well, that would that would be uh, this Caladax, okay, south southwest. Good. But that is over five hundred miles distance. Well, yes. how far is this? Because we routinely travel that in like well, a day. That is a fraction of, of this distance. Okay. That would be less than a hundred miles. Okay, so it's going to take five days. That's not that. What are we? Uh, yeah. yeah. I suppose we have meager rations. Uh, Wait, we make them what, is, what is everything pointing to? It looks like all the lines converge. Uh, well, yes. Yeah, the, the, oh, yes. Uh, these are, are just uh, um, uh, 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 course lines. Uh, uh, vessels that have taken that path. Should we follow? The, them? This I'm vessel. Start setting this space. vessel in particular has has followed all of those paths. Huh. Wrestling with the interested. Mind-blowing scale of the map that it, we have I, discovered, I, I, and also having the compass in hand. And, and, and actually, that said, we, we, can, we can ascertain that well, there's we, a major port of call there, there. Yes. Yes. and there's a major port of call there. So, so that's the plan? Abandon Abarax? However they need to be set. Let's abandon. We can leave and come back. West, southwest. Okay. I don't think you understand. How people are going to react if we sail into a port. They're going to say, look, it's those people from Abarax. They stole a ship. How do they know where we're from? Well, they'll see the 200-year-old ship, or however old this wreck is, and they will say, It's a ghost ship. <laughs> That's even worse! <laughs> they likely still have airships. And can and why don't they come uh, here anymore? What? Then why don't they come here anymore? Because they don't care about it. Then why would they care if we showed up? Because we're a ghost ship. <laughs> and they're going to blow us out of the sky. <laughs> I do not like this idea. But we do have to help the ghosts. They this, want to is, go home. this is a no-win situation. Yes. It, it, to be honest, uh, their home would be... Some some place. There's a, a major port of call here. Okay, uh, in Voltanis. Is uh, that the some way? all the some lines cross? Land, yes, there's yes. A, yeah. There, there are two, but there, there, this one is uh, is significantly most, closer. Uh, okay, well, and it's also the most uh, prevalent. The, this is the most frequently visited. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, tragically, that is uh, well over a thousand miles if, uh, if these scales are to be believed. So, is there the other one is closer? Well, by by a great deal, yes. It, yes, it, but this ship did not go there very often. Yeah, it, How do you know? Well, because it, of these lines. He said these lines here. Yeah, these, these are these are previous course lines. I think we should go where they went the most. Uh, okay, well, then that would be south by southeast, okay. and that would be that's a safer course to fly anyway. over the should be, this should ocean, this map, water yeah, of what viewers at home. Yeah, let's pull the let's the wasp of Gilead. That's deja vu where we should go. <laughs> well, I was gonna I was gonna show them the map at least so they know what we're talking about. As you're discussing the map on the quarter deck, the captain appears. Oh, thank, oh, thank goodness! Yes, <laughs> where do we take you, sir? He is looking forward, the length of the ship. Another spirit appears as well, one that you have not seen before. He appears to be a handsome young man with flowing hair. He steps up to the captain. How much longer? The captain turns to him and says, A day, maybe two. The young man says, You try my patience. You have been well paid. Deliver. 
captain is on, they do not own the wind. The young man hands him a purse. And says, find it. And the captain looks sourly at the purse and pockets it. And both back. Did you say find it or find it? Find it, find it. As in some item, so uh, so we need to go to where they were supposed to be. Uh, yeah, they were obviously on a, on a well, engaged in a mission, engaged in a, a quest of some some sort. Um, I say before we go anywhere, we need to search the ship for clues. Okay. For yeah. clues, and, right. and and we we did not find a captain's drone, did we? No, there, there was no ship's log. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if we can find this young guy's cabin, maybe we can figure out where he wants sure. to, okay. to go. Or what he wanted yes, to find. Or what he wanted. Absolutely. Okay, just remember what he looked like and what he was wearing. Yes, he was a handsome lad. Well dressed. Certainly, well dressed. Certainly, and finally, that you have never seen. So, was it equivalent to the ladies' dresses that we looked at? Yes. But. You know together. You know this that the cuffs are somewhat frayed. That the edging is mm. worn. Yeah. He's broke. What? He's he's broke. Yeah. His yeah. his clothing is the shell of the is not a uh, is not a, I don't a know. He looked broke to me. Of poverty, of work, or, or any of the dresses. If, if he's so desperate to find whatever it is he was, I think they just. Well, the dresses are. Were the dresses, dresses the same? I don't know. Okay. So I old. didn't look at the dresses. Oh. So we have a number of mysterious things going on. Okay, let's search. Let's cabins. search the yeah. cabins. Uh, search the cabins is the order of the day. What? Yes. Sadly, Shahrazad, as she used to say, was permitted to say. <laughs> I actually, let's see, the verb translation goes, and Shahrazad proceeded the dawning of the day and ceased to say her permitted saying. <laughs> Thank you, that was a good uh, made progress this evening, if not through the sky, at least uh, <laughs> through, the, through the plot that's up there. Through the plot, that's up to, to some extent. Well, well, thank you, everybody. So, you think it's illegal to hire a ship to take you somewhere? No, why, I mean, why would it be illegal? Was the captain doing something nefarious and taking this guy somewhere he's not supposed to? Maybe. Maybe they were looking for something forbidden. Not forbidden. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, the forbidden thing. Well, our plot advanced. And thank, thank you, everyone. We'll see, thank you, all of you who uh, followed us this evening. And uh, I'm supposed, oh yeah, click like and subscribe. I'm supposed like to say that. And but, share. Oh yes, and share. And yes, please share. And like I say, uh, look out for the next couple of days. There's something fun coming from Polygon, I do believe. Nice. Will do. Awesome. Uh, fantastic. Well, and thank you all at home uh, for uh, listening in and for joining us here. And uh, until, uh, until next week. Um, my best wishes for peace for everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good night. Bye, everybody.